So let us come back and do the 2008 paper. Yes. Uh, basically, as I said, your tabulated column numericals are very important in chemical kinetics. So please do practice such numericals with, before you go for your exam. So in your 2008 paper, a question is given. This is the question which I have already solved in the video. So please go through the playlist as I mentioned earlier. Go to the chemical kinetics playlist. In that playlist, I, it is numbered as video 21. The numbering is given as 21. You have the same thing. Everything is explained clearly with the units please watch that and for the second question i have they have asked you to show the units for the zero order and first order rate constants here this also a video is made on this particular question also here for zero order i have mentioned it as in the video 17 and for your first order i mentioned in the video 20 so numbered as 20 please go through the video clearly try to prepare your own notes then it will be easy for you for revision revising during the exam Let us come back and do the 2008 paper. Yes, let us read the question. So, what is given to us? A first order reaction, uh, first order decomposition reaction takes place, takes it 40 minutes for 30% decomposition. Okay. So, that means a, a particular reaction for 30% to decompose, it took 40 minutes at some right? I have to find out uh, the T half value, the T uh, half life period of that particular reaction. Simple. Let us write the data given to us. First, T is equal to 40 minutes fine now they have given us first order decomposition so write the formula k is equal to 2.303 by t log a by a minus x correct right now in this particular thing t i already have now a how much is a initial concentration a is equal to it your 100 percent right now your leftover percentage is under minus 30 a minus x this becomes 70 percent now substitute the values simple get k is equal to 2.303 by your 40 minutes and your log 100 by 70 done That's right so <laughs> you just uh, try to solve this when you solve this you get an answer of 8.918 into 10 days per of minus 3 minute inverse done with this answer i'm still not done with the numerical they asked me to calculate t half we very well know let us name this as a and let us take the b part. very well know half life period in the first order rate equation which is equal to 0.693 by k we've already derived this Please watch the video for that. Now, substitute this value of k here. What do we get? 0 0.693 by 8.918 into 10 raised to the power of minus 3 minute inverse. That is the unit for your first order rate constant. When you solve this, you get an answer of 77.7 minutes. This is your half life period. What did I do? I have rooted the given data. I have written the formula for this. After that, I substituted the values and after substituting the values, I got an answer of rate constant. That is in minute inverse, that is time inverse. With that time inverse, I have I have gone back to calculate the T half because this is the relation for T half. Substituted the value, finally, you have got an answer of 77.7 .7 minutes.